Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. It is now the season of autumn, the pagan season of autumn, because this starts with the first harvest on the 1st of August. And so I wanted to share with you some witchcraft rites, traditions and rituals that you can celebrate for the season of autumn. So I have received this. I thought we'd unbox this together and have a quick look at what's inside. This package is from Otter Spirit, who with each purchase makes a $1 donation to Sea Otters. I wonder what's inside. I really like the packaging. It's got a really pretty pouch inside it as well as the box. It's the most beautiful. I can show it to you. Absolutely stunning. It's a bracelet, obviously. <laughs> Otter Spirit is a company that prides itself on the quality of its ingredients. And actually, look at this. This is just marvellous. Each piece is AAA authentic gemstones. I love their detailing and also the fact that they're good quality. It's not a thin elastic. It's a really good, thick elastic, which is going to last. I bought turquoise, celestite and moonstone because the celestite and moonstone went with the turquoise, which I really wanted. So because I've got quite a big wrist, I'm not a small boned person, quite large, I like the larger size, but they do come in this very elegant, slightly smaller bead size. There's also stacks of other jewellery on their website, it is not just the bracelets. They specialise in ethically sourced semi-precious stoneware and I love it. They've got plenty on their website. What particularly attracted me to Otter Spirit itself is that they tell you all about what wearing these certain stones means for your body, your aura, your health and your witchcraft. I chose the turquoise because this is a healing stone. It promotes emotional healing. And not that I particularly need emotional healing, but as a woman of a certain age, I find a little bit of balance in my life it goes a long way. They look fabulous, don't they? I love them. I absolutely love them. Use my code, which I'll put on screen for you now, of Ginny20. This gets you 20% off, which is a lot site-wide. So go to otterspirit.com. Thank you, Otter Spirit, for sponsoring this video because I really love my bracelets. They're mine. Every culture in the world celebrates their harvest somehow because, of course, this is the bounty that Mother Earth has given us. Now, the pagan way of celebrating it is varied from human sacrifice to bonfires to altars to feasting. So let's have a look in a bit more detail about which of these you can incorporate into your everyday practice. Autumn starts on the 1st of August because this is when the energy of the world changes from reaching out and growing to ripening, setting seed and fattening. And so in these three months, August, September and October, this is our autumn season. There are several harvest festivals within the season, the first of which starts with Lunasa or the Lammas Festival on the 1st of August and celebrates bread, the cutting of the grain, John Barleycorn, and there's a lot of folklore about it. Now, I've done videos on this previously, so I'm not going to go into that too much here about the traditions and rites for Lammas and Lunasa, because we're looking at a more general area of the autumn festivities. Because the energy has changed from a growing out to a ripening and setting seed, this sort of energy means that your spellcraft is going to change too. You want to work with the ways of the world. This type of energy is perfect for those who are looking to increase their family. Now this might be through having a puppy or a baby. Those of you who are looking to increase your family should think about doing it in the autumn months because this is the time when nurture and fattening and riping and settling really promotes that energy of bringing new life into your home. But if you don't want a puppy or a baby, why not try bringing in plants? Look for house plants that will come to fruition and growth over the winter months because they're going to be setting their seed in your home during autumn. 
Now, this is actually a really good thing to do during the autumn season. For now, you know, of course, we're covered in the beautiful flowers of the season and everything is lush and green still. But this is going to slowly, slowly die back. And so therefore you want to try and bring a little bit of that growth and lush energy back into your environment to really reap the benefits. So for this season, now is the time to go and buy those indoor plants. As the season draws in, you are going to be spending more time indoors. And so the energy that these plants provide will be invaluable. Autumn is also the time when the nights are beginning to draw in. This means the temperature is dropping, the cold is beginning to find us with its fingers and as a result we start to light our fires. If you look at our forefathers and our ancestors from any culture in fact throughout the world you will find that as the nights start to draw in they start to light their fires and that is some form of fire ceremony. We do have the famous fire ceremony that is known as Samhain or Halloween. This is when bonfires are lit and the world is cleansed and protected by the flames and the smoke from the fire itself. However, bonfires aren't just for Halloween. They are very much part of this autumn season. What bonfires do is they bring that sharp light growth energy to light up those darkness and chase away any negative entities or energies that are lurking around. They're part of purification ritual or a cleansing ritual and they're really important at this time. Although you might be cleansing yourself and your home regularly with smoke, a good bonfire outside will always chase away those negative energies that you just don't need. Now you might not be able to have a bonfire outside, might you? It's so a simple fire ritual or candle ritual in your own home will absolutely suffice. And in fact, if you do own a small yard or outdoor space, carry your lanterns throughout your boundaries uh, to make sure that they are all cleansed and purified. It's a great thing to do at any time of the year, but especially in the autumn season. As the seasons actually slip from one to the other, there tends to be an upsurge in a lot of fairy and spiritual activity. And this is why, you know, for example, Halloween is one of the times when the world is at its thinnest because we're going from the light half of the year to the dark half of the year. And, and in fact, in the May Day celebrations, there is an awful lot of fairy and spiritual activity. The autumn season is part of our cycle of birth and death. This is what we will be celebrating in the coming months. And part of this celebration is gratitude. You know, gratitude for the amount of bounty that we are receiving from Mother Earth. A perfect way to celebrate this is, of course, to have an altar. If you can look at what you've got and be thankful just for that, even if it is very little, then you will not feel that you have lost out to what is not yours and that you haven't got. So this part of the year, it's a great time to set up an altar of gratitude to honour the season. Now is the time to use this bounty in order to honour the dead. We should always look to those who have come before us because we can understand and learn so much from the past. We can't learn from the future because it hasn't happened. So this season as well is about looking towards our ancestors, remembering them, commemorating them, being thankful to them. Even if we had a difficult relationship with them, it's a good idea to be thankful for them for the mere fact that we are here and do this now. And that cannot be understated. As a witch, I would look towards improving my psychic ability during this time. Just communing with your ancestors, speaking with spirits, any of those particular activities are a great one to start now. And if you don't know how to do that, start with my how-to psychic series, which I'll put up here for you. And this will show you how to improve your psychic self, because these three months are about connecting and communicating with the occult. And by the occult, I don't mean the darkness, but the, you know, that which is hidden, which is the true meaning of the word.
And finally, this is the season of harvest. And this is a more practical approach to the season more than anything else. Now is the time to gather all of your supplies. And so it's quite a good time to do an audit of your witchcraft supplies and see what you need and what you don't need. Because I have um, a lot of rubbish that I've accumulated over the year, generally, since my last audit. I want to get it set in place and all tidied up so I know what I've got, what I need to replace. I particularly need to replenish my stores of stones because I'm always giving them away because their energy needs to be with somebody else. And I'm very much of the opinion that stones come to you a bit like pets. They sort of come to you as well. They choose to be with you and stones choose to be with me and then choose not to be with me. And so for this, I need to go through and have a look. So winter is coming. And now, as a result, I'm holding my first witchcraft retreat. Do go to chillymetherall.co.uk for all the details and to book. Get in there quickly because the places are limited. Otherwise, if you want to learn more witchcraft without doing a witchcraft retreat, you can do online in-person sessions with me. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherall. There's all the details for you there. And if you don't want to do any of that, if you could just subscribe to my channel, because that would make me extremely happy. And I will see you in my next video.